Chapter 5. Chemical Reactions. Counting Atoms. The rules for determining the number of atoms in a chemical formula are the same, regardless of the type or size of the compound or molecule. Here we can see the chemical formula for barium nitrate. We see the symbols for barium, nitrogen, and oxygen, and the charges on each ion. Barium is a positive monatomic ion, and nitrate is a negative polyatomic ion. The small 3 after the oxygen tells us there are 3 oxygens in nitrate, while the 2 outside of the parentheses tells us that there are 2 nitrate ions. That means there is 2 of everything inside the parentheses. Let's look at sodium chloride, more commonly known as table salt. There are symbols for the two elements, but there are no little numbers called subscripts. If you do not see any subscripts, it is understood that there is just one of that atom. The first thing we want to do when counting the number of atoms in a chemical formula is list the atoms that we see. We have sodium and chlorine. There is one sodium and one chlorine. Let's try another example, sodium oxide. First list the elements, sodium and oxygen. The subscript 2 means there are two sodiums. There is no subscript for oxygen, which means there is just one. Here is another example, beryllium phosphide. First list the elements, beryllium and phosphorus. The subscript 3 means there are three beryllium's. The subscript 2 means there are two phosphoruses. Here is a good example, calcium chlorate. This is a good one because it has subscripts inside and outside of the parentheses. Remember, the 3 applies to just the oxygen, but the 2 applies to everything inside the parentheses. Okay, time to list the elements. Calcium, chlorine, and oxygen. There is one calcium. Inside the parentheses, there is one chlorine in chlorate, but the 2 outside means there are two chlorate ions, so 2 times 1 is 2 chlorines. The 3 inside the parentheses means there are 3 oxygens in chlorate, but 2 times 3 is 6 total oxygens. Here are 3 examples I want you to try. Pause the video, then check your answer. Here are those answers. There is one more thing we need to learn about when calculating the number of atoms in a chemical formula. That is the big number in the front called the coefficient. The coefficient tells us the total number of that compound or molecule. Let's go back to sodium chloride. We see the chemical formula NaCl with a coefficient of 5 in the front. That tells us there are 5 salt compounds. So, we have 1 sodium and 1 chlorine. But there are five of these compounds, so we have a total of five sodiums and five chlorines. Let's now look at carbon dioxide. We see the chemical formula CO2 with a coefficient of three in the front. That tells us there are three CO2 molecules. Let's list our elements, carbon and oxygen. We have one carbon and two oxygens in each CO2 molecule, but there are three molecules, so we have three total carbons and six total oxygens. Here's a real challenging one, magnesium bicarbonate. We see the chemical formula with a coefficient of four in the front. That tells us there are four magnesium bicarbonate compounds. Let's list the elements, magnesium, hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. There is one magnesium times four equals four total magnesiums. There is one hydrogen in parentheses, but a two outside means two total hydrogens in magnesium bicarbonate. But the coefficient of four means four times two times one is eight total hydrogens. There is one carbon in parentheses, but a two outside means two total carbons in magnesium bicarbonate. 
but the coefficient of 4 means 4 times 2 times 1 is 8 total carbons. There are three options in parentheses, but a 2 outside the parentheses means there are two bicarbonate ions, each with three oxygens, for a total of six oxygens. But the coefficient of 4 means 4 times 2 times 3 is 24 total oxygens. Try these two examples on your own. Pause the video, do your work, then check your answer. Here are the answers.